Kalski, the head coach of the women's hockey national runner-up team, could not attend tonight's banquet. He's currently the head coach of the women's hockey team at the University of North Dakota. They're playing a game this evening in Grand Forks against Vermont. Craig served as the assistant coach for the 2004 women's ice hockey national runner-up team. Go ahead and come forward. Ladies, you can come on the stage. Just because you're, there's a lot of you doesn't mean you're not coming up here. As we just uh, saw, members of the 2004 women's ice hockey team here at Stevens Point, we're the only Western team to make it to the NCAA National Championship game. After winning the NCHA Conference playoffs over River Falls and Superior in double overtime, the team advanced to the quarterfinals and faced Gustavus Adolphus in another double overtime win. In the final four, they beat the number one seeded Manhattanville College team four to one, and then they lost in the National Championship game two to one to Middlebury. team that are here tonight, Kristen Borjan, Nicole Bussey, Kimberly Chenery, Sally Christensen, Jackie Chikowski, Jen Dorf, Chris Hansen, Ashley Howell, Haley Hupp, Jana Jerkovich, Rebecca Kronlinger, Julie LeClaire, Liz Larson, Kim Lunneborg, Jackie McIntosh, Ann Nineman, Jennifer Norris, Diane Sawyer, Holly Schmees, Amy Stotts, Tracy Truckee, Pam Waddy, Craig Dickinson. Coach and team members, it gives all of us great pleasure to present you each with plaques this evening. And you are hereby officially inducted into the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point Athletic Hall of Fame. How about a big round of applause? For We would now invite Liz Larson, who is going to accept and speak on behalf of the team. Um, first, I want to say thank you to uh, UWSP and the athletic department um, for all the support and opportunity they provide for us um, athletically and academically um, in our, not only this season, but in all of our, our careers here at UW UWSP. Um, their support has been tremendous and the encouragement that we received as a beginning varsity sport um, that started in 2000 and 2000, 2001 season um, was phenomenal and we couldn't ask for a better, better support system here throughout the school. I've been touched before how you really come to a school not knowing many people and you really get a bond and that's what we've all gotten here. 
um, through being um, athletes at UWFT. A little bit about the background of uh, Pointer Hockey. It started in 2001, um, and in, it's been around for 11 years. And in those 11 years, um, we've really represented the NCAA for the, uh, the West in the NCAA tournament four times. We've taken second in the 2003-2004 season. We've also had um, a third place finish twice, and also a quarterfinal participation game. Um, in addition to the NCAA tournament, um, Point has either won the NCHA season or the tournament five out of the 11 years. So, and our overall record for the program is 205, 72, and 28. So needless to say, the women's hockey program has been nothing but successful since establishment, thanks to the establishment of the program in 2000. Um, to our, our current year and the current team standing up here, uh, many of us were involved with two seasons that, um, previous to this, which were touched on in both Ann and Jackie's um, video here, that they were two very successful seasons, and um, unfortunately we were denied the at-large bid in both of those seasons, even though we are 26-1 and one and ranked first in the nation. Um, unfortunately, they decided to take the number two rank ranked team um, for the national tournament. <laughs> so like Ann said, it was kind of getting like stabbed in the heart, um, which many of us carried with us um, pretty deeply. And um, it's, it's pretty unexplainable, that, that feeling that we had. And we played for that feeling, that feeling that we needed to prove that we were um, the best in the West. Um, that was talked about a lot in our, in our locker room that we need to be the best in the West. No one thought that the West had women's hockey potential and that the East, the Northeast was really where hockey came from and, and went to. Um, the start of that 2003-2004 season, it was, it was a good start, but we had to overcome a lot of obstacles during that season, um, such as a 20-hour bus ride out east in the middle of the season. Um, Spending, a bus for t uh, spending time on a bus for 20 hours with 20 girls. Um, <laughs> not a lot of people want to do that. <laughs> and many of us don't want to do it again either. <laughs> um, we played a, a number of the top teams in the nation on that trip out, out west and, or out east. And we came out with a 1-1-2 one, one, and two record. Um, losing the, the only game we lost was by one goal and the two overtime ties that we had. I mean, it was encouraging and uplifting to us all. Um, but like I said, we had to overcome a couple obstacles. We then finished up the season 6-4-1. Um, I think touched on in, in the video, our, our, um, we didn't have a lot of losses, so having four losses in the end of a season was pretty tough on us all. Um, so it, 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 it took a big toll on us, including one loss to uh, Eau Claire, which you think hit all in the heart as well. <laughs> um, we lost to a player for the first time in school history right after we watched the movie Miracle. <laughs> um, I think all of you are familiar with Miracle. It should have been something uplifting and encouraging and uh, come out there flying, but unfortunately we lost. Um, from there we went on to lose our last game of the season in a double overtime. Uh, oh, sorry, we lost our last game of the season to Superior. One nothing, um, which also lost us the uh, season winning. We went into the conference tournament knowing that it's a win all or nothing, uh, knowing that if you won the game, you might you might be getting that at large bid, which was a chance that we weren't going to give up. So it was um, a double overtime win. Um, we that was the longest game in school history. Um, we won with a goal from Pam Store. Um, and led us on to winning that conference tourney and giving us really that edge into hopefully getting that at-large bid. Uh, it wasn't much more than a week later, we were all sitting in um, a room over in the heck, uh, twiddling our thumbs, eating chips and dips, and waiting for Coach to come in. We were hoping to get that at-large bid because it wasn't a guarantee. Um, I think we can all remember that excitement that we had when coach walked in and said, you got it, we're going. Um, and it wasn't much more than a week later that it was our first game against the State of the Dolphins, um, one of our um, our tribals. 
And um, again, a double overtime win and broke our school, our school record of having the longest game again. Um, <laughs> it was a long one, but uh, if you saw the photo, it was, it was a phenomenal game. We, um, we we're all really excited about that and that meant we go to the final four. We all get to that final four. Got fancy coach, coach buses, prime rib, uh, laundry service, fruit basket. It's a little, a little out of there for us Midwest girls. Um, so we try and fit in as best we can, uh, walking in our heels to the banquet, um, getting all dressed up, and we just take it all in. I can remember going to the rink early at the game and glancing around the state-of-the-art arena. Um, we played in a tin, tin shack, kind of, <laughs> out of ten, and um, this was great. It had windows that overlooked the mountains. They had, you know, training facilities, and we were kind of in a world that we didn't know. Um, I can remember, you know, the looks of it, our name on the board, and, and we all were just ready to play. You could hear the chatter in the locker room and go into that first game, and we got all at all our nerves right away. We scored within the first four minutes of the game, and we, and we were off. We won that game four to one, and um, we're ready to play, and all the excitement and everything going on, and we go into that championship game and score first again. And um, fortunately, we weren't able to, to hold that win, which is a sore spot in all of our hearts, so I'm not going to talk about that anymore. <laughs> uh, but uh, that was the season of obstacles, winning and, and becoming a team, and like it's been mentioned by many, hard work and um, not liking everybody at times, and really just becoming a big bond between everybody. Um, but it was that persistent and hard work and the team goal of, of really being the best in the West. Um, that was mentioned over and over and over again, and it was our drive to achieve that goal. Um, and these experiences that have kept us close together um, since we really get together once a year and either play an alumni game, which we played in yesterday, um, and getting together and reminiscing and um, watching each other grow families and, and things like that is, you know, something that you can't get um, elsewhere. Um, one last thing I'd like to say is thanks to um, Point Again and the athletic department and also um, our, our family. You know, we have, we fill up half this room with our family who have gone from state to state and rink to rink and mornings and other establishments that we might go into later. Um, and they, they just support us along the way. And, and of course, our coaching staff, unfortunately, Brian not being able to be here, but Coach Dakin and Coach e, you know, they've been the root of the team for, for a number of years. Um, so thank you for everybody, and thanks to all the team, and thank you.